There's one main rotor gearbox bolt come across. Here's another one. Now it's really hard. You can see three out of the four bolts without too much trouble. There's your third one and your fourth one's back in that corner so it's really hard to find that one. Here's another bell crank. Here's your pal nut, push-pull tube, rod end and push-pull tube that go up the mast. So inspect that for any cracks, corrosion, make sure that rod end can twist freely but cannot move up or down or laterally or really in any direction except for that it should twist freely. You should tr uh, check for corrosion on that rod end as well. Alright, look at the belts. They're a little wet because I just washed it. But look for any wear pattern on the top of the belts. Um, sometimes we get aircraft in here, then you can see grooves on the top. And it's like, whoa. Or you can see frayed edges. Or you can actually, we'll come around on this side here, you can actually see the belt wanting to separate. Uh, so those are a couple things you're looking out for. And you're going to check both belts. When you rotate the belts around, you may push one in just a little bit. That way you can check the condition, check the bonding of the inside belt, or the front belt. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, you can see the lower sheath right there. Check the wear pattern. Make sure everything's nice and even. Once again, it is wet because I just washed it. And uh, when you're rotating it, let me switch hands. When you're checking the belts, you're going to be using your right hand, at least I do. You're going to be rotating it up here and if it gets stiff you may have to use your left hand I can't demonstrate that with holding the camera but you're going to use your left hand and press in on the belt and that will cause it to be able to turn again notice that's a bond line that's where they stitch the belt together but while you're rotating these belts around you're going to be checking the inside condition on the other opposite side so the inside you're going to check the opposite side on the inside of the belts Alright, so coming on in, we basically checked everything in the main rotor gearbox compartment. I'm going to leave this uncowled because I still want to be able to turn the drive shaft and check out this flex plate and yoke flanges on either side. This is the middle flex plate and yoke flange. And the one up here that we checked, one right there, that is the front, the forward flex plate and yoke flange. You're going flange. to use your right hand, place it, place it up on the the upper sheath, rotate it, going away from you, then you can simply pull back. Now we can check the condition, the yoke flange, flex plate, and the torque stripes on these paddle nuts. Looks pretty good. All right, this is your upper bearing check your teletemp. Note that there's a mark. Um, it's a good idea to have these, uh, these sharpie marks because at the end of the flight instead of having to memorize where each mark is on each tel individual teletemp, draw a mark so that when you get done flying or on the next flight you can see, you can tell easily if this component or any component has gotten hot or that previous flight. Check for teletemp. Make sure it's not blackened in. Um, Note, make sure there's no grease getting slung out. Now there is a little residue that we saw earlier, and we're gonna, it's probably coming off the front of the seal. So we'll, we'll get our mechanic less to check this out. Check for excessive play. This is a newer aircraft, and it's just been overhauled. Um, not by us, but see that motor on the opposite side? We'll get a better view of that. But that is the clutch actuator, and what that does basically drives a screw and it presses this column, presses the drive shaft up, causing the belts to get tighter. Here's these micro switches that basically tell the, uh, the clutch actuator when to stop, when to start to retension. A little different view. Check to make sure the bolts that secure the tail boom are nice and tight. There should be a bolt with a torque stripe and power nut at each of the four corners. Make sure that that is there. Coming up and around, see your antenna plugs in there. There's your other one. There's that one, and there should be one. 
and uh, it's right down that corner. We'll see if we can get that on the other side. All right, so we're going to check the frame. This is from this deck up is considered the upper frame. So looking for cracks in the welds and the tubing, any corrosion, rust, deep scratches, really anything that doesn't look right in the frame. Uh, you should have that checked out. And this frame goes all over the place. Just follow it up and around. Connects all over the place. This is once again the upper frame. Connects down to the main rotor transmission. And it goes down. So check that out. Make sure your gas cap is nice and tight. Alright, so I think I'm done with this section. But I don't know. But we'll find out when we go back and um, verify the checklist. So I'm going to close these doors up. I love making videos. Nice and latched, nice and tight. Alright, so we have finished the main rotor transmission area. We've checked right back here, we've checked the frame, we've checked the belts, we've checked the upper um, upper bearing, the freewheeling unit, the bell crank, the rod ends, flex couplings, yoke flanges, antennas, the frames. It's not in the POH, you won't see it on at least a factory from the factory um, POH checklist. Stick your hand between the tail boom and the fan shroud, okay? Um, I can get almost to my middle knuckle between here, okay? If this aircraft has a hard landing or has a tail boom strike, this gap will get bigger. It will never get smaller, theoretically. It will only get bigger. So if you go back, you're doing your pre-flight, and you can stick your hand all the way through, Except for here, then you know, hey, I shouldn't fly this thing, and um, you should have it checked out and see what's going on. This is your one of the four tail boom attachment points. Make sure all the rivets are good, there's no uh, wrinkling around where it attaches. You've already checked the bolt or the nut on the inside. And your second one on the right side of the aircraft is right underneath this little squirrel. So once again, checking the rivets, make sure there's no wrinkles. Coming down, I've already checked in here. Check out your ring gear, lower sheath, belts. Make sure there's no debris, no bird's nest down there as well. Um, check out your fan, your fan scroll, your fan housing. Make sure all of the screws are in place, nice and tight. Do that all the way up and around. We'll get to the other side later. Alright, so we're going to be checking the engine right side. I like to start out at the top. This is the point where your lower frame begins. From this point, all the way down is all considered the lower frame. So come up here, make sure it is tight. Most likely, if this thing is a hard landing, you're not going to find a crack here. You're going to find a crack right where they press this tubing together. So make sure, uh, I have some pictures, I'll see if I can post them, um, of an aircraft that did have a very hard landing. And uh, before we fixed it, we had took some good pictures. So notice, nice and secured. That's not a crack, okay? That's just the way it's designed. So if you want to take this off, never take that nut off, or that, uh, that screw out. Because that's for your... Uh, the platform on the inside of the compartment is to take that one out. So coming down, make sure this is on. Once again, I'm checking my lower frame. This is your, your attachment points. No cracks, no dings, no corrosion. You just follow this all the way around. Inside, it goes up, attaches to your engine. There's your one of your engine mounts. You go up here more. See it goes up through the firewall, the platform on top. Another engine mount. This frame goes everywhere, so don't just glance in here. You can do a pre-flight without really doing a pre-flight, if you know what I mean. You can look at something yet not really look at it. So notice it's nice and tight, it's not going anywhere. 